crypto anub alls let's go everyone as you can see guys the price of ethereum the price of bnb the price of xrp and even cardano is doing pretty much like how we expected our retracement towards the key line of support before choosing the trend duration before starting a new impulsive movement and now since the price of ethereum is exactly at this support line exactly where it belongs will this trend continue from here on because according to this level more speculative chart you can see price after getting attracted to us this 0.7 could start a new impulsive movement because according to this level more speculative chart this widening mouth accumulation cylinder with widening mouth once we flip this key line of support around 1650 to 1700 into proper support we could be slowly starting with this new impulsive movement so in a daily time frame we want the price of ethereum at any cost to remain above 1650 to 1700 range to remain bullish and also to call this as a continuation pattern just like i shown here in an example and if we look at the price action around this point seven in a bit different way what in that case in that case guys we are going to look at this inverse head and shoulder type of formation which is playing out right now here in price action of ethereum yes the price of ethereum if it does breaks out of this neckline neckline around 1730 1750 if we can flip this neckline into proper support then i am actually expecting the price of ethereum for the upcoming days to turn bullish and in that case the price objective from this inverse head and shoulder is going to be somewhere around 1830 to 1840 range yes guys this 1800 30, 1840 is going to be looked at as our upcoming target if we flip the 1730 1735 into proper support and that means another five to six percent price move here to the upside and if you say hey Anub, this is only the best case what if the worst case scenario plays out i mean price failing to find support at this point seven even invalidating this inverse head and shoulder what in that case in that case we are going to look into this example here yes in a weekly time frame in a weekly the price of ethereum is facing resistance resistance from this upper trend line support from this lower trend line but if you look at this price formation carefully it is still looked as higher highs higher lows continuation pattern type of formation and in the worst case scenario if this trend fails to find support around 1650 to 1700 range then we know we will be looking at this formation as a continuation pattern higher highs higher lows continuation pattern and even if we do get attracted to us to form another higher lows the price in that case could get attracted to us 1300 to 1350 for the upcoming day so this here will be looked as our worst case scenario for ethereum for this formation to play out the price must break the 1650 to 1700 support and only after breaking that we know it is going to be a continuation pattern here to the downside and in that case 1300 to 1350 will be looked as our upcoming target for ethereum so this here is the worst case target this is what could be unfolding in the media short term once we flip this neckline into support 1730 1735 into support and this here is the best guess target for bitcoin remaining about 1650 1700 could be forming another bullish continuation like this an accumulation cylinder with widening mouth for ethereum for the upcoming days and now let's look at b and b coin now before i jump further into this content please guys please destroy that like button if you haven't done it yet and for those individuals watching this for the first time hit the subscribe button and the bell now looking at this bnb here in a weekly time frame you know i was shouting on top of my lungs when the price of bnb broke the support around 320 318 dollar when we were hovering around this 309 310 dollar i showed you according to this bearish continuation pattern known as rising wage the price objective is somewhere around 210 220 dollar the price of bnb dropped around 222 dollar right almost like around 30 percent retracement and now the question here is has bnb reached the price already from this rising wedge and now it could be showing another continent like this or what to expect next because if we look at the price structure here right in a bit different way according to this rising wedge yes we almost 
came at the price objective, right? 33% to 30%. But if we look at this in a daily time frame, things are looking different. I mean, the line here, which was supposed to hold the price, has already been broken from this broadening wedge, right? You can see this lower line has already been broken. And also, this exact line acted as a resistance when the price of BNB tried to break above it. So the line which previously acted as a support acted as a resistance. So according to this broadening wave, price has already broken the key line support and even got rejected while trying to re-enter above it. Now, this could be a bearish continuation. Yes, guys, this broadening wedge could be favoring the shots because you can see the line which previously acted as a support rejected the price. So if the price of PMB does wants to show a continuation here to the upside invalidating the bearish scenario, then we have to come across 250 to 260 dollar range. Yes, once we flip that into support, only after that we know this here is going to be more of a continuation pattern and price after that is going to show this new impulsive movement. And in that case, this 222 would be the bottom. So please be careful because the price is still below the $250, $260 range. So if this trend continuation is going to happen, then we could be seeing the price of BNB with some range bound coming back to test the support around $210, $220 one more time, right? Before deciding the train duration but i think if the price of bnb does get attracted to us 200 to 210 dollar around that range i will start accumulating some more and now beside bnb beside ethereum let's also quickly look at xrp so to all xrp holder things are looking very very interesting why because the price of xrp came exactly guys came exactly at this key line of resistance the line which previously acted as a resistance, we came exactly around that area and got rejected. And now, if this here is going to be a continuation pattern, the price in the media short term could be coming back to test the support from this 30 week moving average. Yes, this 30 week moving average right now is sitting around 42, 43 cents. So please be careful. That means there could be another retracement of around 5 to 10 percent in the media short term for XRP and then another continuation like this because i personally think the price of xrp is in this accumulation phase because we have been consolidating here since 2022 may month right you can see the price is clearly in a range bound and now if we can simply remain about this 30 week exponential moving average which is going to be around 42 43 cents i personally think the price of xrp for the upcoming days is going to be very bullish because getting retracement around this key line doesn't necessarily mean it is bearish because the price parallelly is also forming this ascending triangle. Ascending triangle is a bullish continuation pattern. And if this trend is going to show further continuation in the medium short term, yes, there might be some retracement, retracement to test the support area one more time before deciding the trend duration. So I mean, the price of XRP in the medium short term might show some weakness might come back to test the support from this lower trend line because this lower trend line in the past price action always acted as a strong line of support so this is exactly where we might be getting attracted right and once we flip that into support around 42 43 cents we could be breaking out from this ascending triangle just like i shown here in an example because this horizontal trend line or the upper trend line has always been one of the most important line of support and resistance and in our case it rejected the price one more time so what i'm trying to pinpoint here is that right now this 42 43 cent could be retested but it doesn't mean the price of xrp is going to be bearish bearish only when we break the support from this 30 week exponential moving average in a weekly time frame and even this lower trend line from this ascending triangle and let's say if the support does get broken i mean the support around 42 43 cent does get broken what in that case in that case we have to look at this price formation in a bit different way i mean in a daily time frame you can see very clearly this formation looks like more of a double top type of formation double top is a bearish scenario right so if the price of xrp loses the support around 42 cent then we know the upcoming days could be turning bearish and in that case, the price objective, right? In that case, the price objective is going to be 
the previous low. Yes, this lower trend line or this lower area could be retested, which would bring the price of XRP in the worst case around 31 to 30 cent. Yes, 31 to 30 cent would be the worst case target, but I personally have already started accumulating XRP. So if we do see further retracement, I am going to add some more. And now, beside XRP, beside BNB and Ethereum, let's also quickly look at Cardano. So for Cardano, nothing much has changed. If you have watched my previous video, I showed you with this rising wage. This lower trend line is where we could be getting attracted. And now if we look at the price since our last update has already shown a retracement of around 30%. So has the price of Cardano bottomed out and now could be slowly starting this new impulsive movement. According to this rising wage, yes, our price of GDP has reached. but if you look at this in a bit different way, you can see guys in a daily, the price of Cardano is also forming this megaphone pattern or broadening wedge formation. Now, if this trend continuation is going to happen, this lower trend line, right, might be retested. Yes, guys, price range around 20 to 21 cent might be retested before deciding the trend duration because if this price continuation does happen like this, right, this here, could be the line where we could be getting attracted in the media short term. So for Cardano, I don't think the bottom is in yet, even though we have already found support around 25, 26 cent. But I personally think the price in the media short term after some range bound could show further retracement up to 20 cent to 19 cent. That means another 15 to 20% retracement. And only after that, I personally would start accumulating but until then i am definitely going to wait i'm not going to jump into any trades right now so as you can see guys cardano i am going to wait until the price finds proper bottom xrp i've already started accumulating ethereum or my all-time favorite after bitcoin bnb i've also already started accumulating so this were some of the quick update that i wanted to share with you in this video if you enjoyed my work then please guys please destroy that like button and for those individuals watching this for the first time hit the subscribe button and the bell now by saying this i'm signing out my name is anup bye bye